Hi everybody, um, this is Mandy and the Mindful Life Seeker channel and today we're going to be doing a cash stuffing um, and just talking a little bit about some changes that have happened so let's dive right in. Um, so as you can see here I actually ended up finding my um, some of my stuff that I had purchased in like late 2021 early 2022 to start this journey last year or I guess two years ago now anyway I was going to try and do this in 2022 and then I couldn't figure out how to um, start it out so I was able to find these and I have to say that I absolutely love like the shimmer from the stars in this and being able to see that Tiffany blue color um, I absolutely love it so I'm just going to talk to you real quick about um, this little pouch here that I purchased. I purchased this from um, Intentional Living and uh, her name is Kristen. And so this particular pouch, um, I got it to be a $1 challenge when I received it from Miss Kristen. She did send me this $2 bill and I'm going to leave this is her card. And she did a little scratch and save, which is awesome. Um, so I will be scratching that in another video. But um, her links are there. And I'm going to leave that right there so that you can check her out. And then she also sent that with a little note. And the note says, um, congratulations, whether you're just starting out on your financial wellness journey or you've been doing this for ages, I'm so proud of you. I hope this $2 bill encourages you to keep intentionally living XOXO Kristen. And I honestly just thought that was such a um, personal touch and um, I was not expecting it. So I really enjoyed that. Now, um, for me, I get my $1 bills from one of my work positions and that is um, that I do ride share. And so typically that's where I get my $1 bills from. I currently don't have a physical bank that I work with, um, which I'm looking to change, but for now I don't. So pretty much I've just been sticking my cash tips in this envelope and I did have some circumstances that made me have to pull it. So I do have an IOU in here, but that is my kind of plan for that. Um, and then I also wanted to call out one other thing before we, we get into this cash stuffing. and. I don't remember offhand where I got these um, because I did purchase them um, when I originally started trying to do my cash stuffing and so um, these are actually prop bills and I got them so that they were in a gradient um, because I just thought that was really cool and so I have five of each and this one's the 10,000 this one's the 5,000 this is a thousand and I don't know if you guys can see these color shifts um, but they're just so cool and that's the 500 and this is the 100 and I just wanted some prop bills to start that were all cohesive so I got those I'm very excited to soon be able to use those um, so this is my binder that I'm using for um, my annual payments and anything in here I am trying to stuff um, so that I can pay either an annual fee or just have the amount of money that I need to use for a year. So for example, I have Planet Fitness for my gym membership and I have a static cost every month of what that's going to be and then their annual um, fee. So my monthly savings cost is combining the annual fee and the monthly cost. So I'm kind of paying for that twice right now. Um, but that's kind of the goal is to get to where um, I'm literally just saving for that bill and that annual cost every year. So I'm gonna slide this off over here for a moment. And so in here, oops, sorry, it's a little noisy. Um, but in here I have all of the cash that I have to stuff. Um, and so we're going to pull that out and then we'll count it and we'll stuff it into the um, annual. 
of envelopes. Okay. And then I also want to actually call out these um, envelopes that I have. If you've seen one of my other videos, you'll know that these envelopes came from Erica over at Black and Blue. You also might know her from her website, Dripped by E. Um, and she has these in her, uh, on her website. Um, and I just love this color. I love the detailing. Um, you should definitely go check her out. She is amazing. And then I also have several things that I purchased from her. But one of the other things is this little um, quick sort blinged out uh, gel. And essentially what it is is that it's supposed to help you um, count, like sort through the money better, uh, get like a better grip on it. So, okay, 20. 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. and 50. So that's 250. Um, my original savings goal for this was um, $340, well, $341. Um, one of these is actually going to be fully funded um, right away, but I had some circumstance changes, and so I have to have $250 to be able to stuff all of my envelopes that I currently have. $340 would just help me to kind of move along in um, the aspect of a vehicle. So I still kind of want to save that much, but if it doesn't happen, as long as I have the 250, I'm happy. So first thing is actually the one that's going to be fully funded. And that's because honestly, it probably could have not been an envelope. It's a $10 fee and that's this movement genius. Um, because it's a $10 fee per year. And mile IQ I actually use for my job. Um, for the rideshare and that is going to be fully funded at $5 per month. Next up we have renter's insurance. I actually um, just paid this in bulk um, because I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do with my living situation. but. Um, that actually kind of hurt me to do that. So we're just going to be saving for that. So that gets $10. Now the Adobe Creative Cloud for me becomes um, around in August. So I need to save $60 so that I can utilize that service or pay for the annual uh, payment for that service. So that gets 60 And then Walmart Plus, I'm currently paying this monthly, um, but I would like to pay for the annual. Um, so that gets $10. And I just want to call out, like, these do have a, like, good flexibility to them so even as I stuff these it'll still be fairly easy. Um, Literature is actually um, created by the Vaginista Tiffany and um, it's a financial literacy platform and I am currently trying to save up for the annual and once I have the annual I'm going to be trying to save for the lifetime in one year. So that's my goal with that. So as I mentioned with Planet Fitness, I'm saving not just for the annual fee, but also for the um, monthly fees as well, so that I don't have to worry about that coming out of my account. So that gets 30 each month. 
Then we have Sam's Club, and Sam's Club is another interesting one. Um, I'm gonna have to go back because I'm missing a 20. Um, but it's getting 70, 60 of that is actually for um, products that I'm purchasing at Sam's because I realize that if I purchase things that I do need in bulk um, every quarter, I will be able to save a couple thousand dollars this year. So that was something that I decided I was gonna do. And then with Amazon, it's $15 every month. Um, I do pay this annually as well, but I, again, just am trying to save for this year's payment. And then last but not least, Audible gets 10. And with Audible, um, they offered this year, and I don't know if they had offered it years previously, but um, they had an offer to pay for essentially 12 credits, which is one year's worth of payments, and it was a little bit cheaper than the monthly cost. Um, so I'm aiming to do that again. Now I still have 20 left over, which is what I was missing. So I'm just gonna put this in Sam's. That wasn't my original plan, but that's just what we're gonna do. There we go. So 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. Yep. And so that is everything cash cashed up. So in an upcoming video, I will be doing a story time type thing, talking a little bit about what happened and derailed my uh, plans for the financial aspect of my year. And um, I hope I'll see you there. Have a great day. Bye guys.